gonna miss you. I cannot wait to see how you nail it in your next opportunity. Hey Nick, congratulations on such a successful career at WTVY. And while I know the Wiregrass will miss you sharing their stories, especially Miss Rhonda Kirk, we'll all be cheering for you in this next chapter of life. Hey Nick, just really proud of you and all your accomplishments down in Dothan. Hey Nick, uh, you're one of the last remaining ones from us that all started back in 2019. You've been a rock star, you've been an MVP there the last almost five years. Wish you nothing but the best. Got a lot of time now to go watch the Braves play. <laughs> Hey Nick, as much as I thought you would enjoy an au revoir to the Wiregrass video from yours truly, I knew you would love it even more if it was from some of your favorite people in the world, <laughs> the Atlanta Braves. So we are all out here today to say you have crushed it in the Wiregrass. The Wiregrass is blessed to have had you. There are people train over there. Uh, they want your autograph. That's what they said. They said, Ronald Acuna, who? We want Nick Brooks. The Braves say good luck. They're so stoked for you. I'm stoked for you. The last Lena hire is leaving the nest. Nick, I can't be more happy or proud of you and all that you've accomplished during your time at WTVY. You grew up in the Wiregrass and you have been dedicated to serving your community and telling their stories. And I know that you're gonna to continue to excel in wherever this journey takes you. I think it's only fitting and poetic justice that I'm wearing a Troy shirt as I shoot your farewell video. I not only got to go through college with one of my really good friends who later ended up turning into one of my best friends, but we got to start our very first big boy and big girl jobs together. You have done the Wiregrass an incredible service and you covered sports in your home market. How cool is that? I can't help but to think back when this job first became available. You were questioning whether or not you wanted to take the job. And our good friend David Paul said, I think you need to apply because you don't want to look back on this years from now and think, what if? You applied and you got the job and you did a great job for the Wiregrass. Your Graham and I want to wish you the very best in the next chapter in your life. We know God's got great plans for your head, so trust in him. As a news reporter for WTBY, you have left us with some very memorable moments, like how not to zip line across a lake. The sports journalism by asking Lane Kiffin if he thinks you look like him. Actually, you're better looking. You know how to appropriately interject a little comedy into reporting news and sports, which is refreshing. We love you, Nick. I've been able to have a front row seat to watch your personal and professional growth, as well as your dedication, both on and off the air, and it has truly been inspiring. I am so proud of you, and I'm so glad I get to be the one alongside of you. A lot of emotions tonight. Yeah, um, adding family in there, and my fiance, obviously, Haley, um, which I know she's watching right now unless she fell asleep. She's up. Uh, um, she's up. It's uh, bittersweet. You know, it's been an amazing five years. I hate to leave. Obviously, a lot of people mentioning how it's my hometown market. You know, I went to yeah. high school here. Um, able to tell stories, obviously, on some of my coaches that, um, you know, I looked up to, especially my high school baseball coach, um, can't even begin to express just the gratitude um, I've had. Obviously, Lena Sadusky, our news director, who hired me back in uh, June 2019, I'll never forget the phone call um, when she had that offer. I can still hear her voice in my head telling me that um, they'd liked me to join the team. Um, obviously, Taylor Pollock, who is also on there, um, big reason of why I'm here. Um, she was a, a, somebody who battled for me to, to, to be here. And, um, you know, obviously, I worked with Bree um, in Troy. And um, lucky for me, got to do it again here uh, at WTVY. And um, obviously, worked with Justin for a little bit as well, um, somebody who uh, helped me get into my big break in sports. Um, I'm going to leave some people out, and I really don't want to. Obviously, I have to talk about my family, obviously my grandparents. Speaking of your family, oh my gosh. we have a surprise for you this evening. Oh we have Nick's parents here this evening and his sisters. You're talking too long. <laughs> <laughs> so proud of you. My sister and my stepdad, who's not coming on camera right now. <laughs> We know that your family has been such a big support for you and yeah. of course the entire Wiregrass community like all those people in that video said and the reason why you do what you do is because you grew up here. You are a part of the Wiregrass and you were one of my first friends here 
when I got here at WTVY, so it's definitely not a goodbye. It's going to have to be a see you later because, I mean, you are just too good of a person for me to just ever forget about. And that's the thing. It's a see you later. I said that earlier yeah. today. Nick is a sports guy's sports guy. I mean, he <laughs> knows sports. He just doesn't do it on TV. I mean, he, mm -hmm. he lives it day in and day out. And, uh, I mean, Nick, you've become a great friend. and. and I'm sad you're leaving, yeah. obviously, but I know we're going to stay in touch. So yeah, obviously, I can't goodbye. not come back to the Wiregrass right here. <laughs> I've, I've got to come back to the Wiregrass. Um, holidays, um, special occasions, obviously, and um, any other time that I want to see. But I haven't mentioned what I'm going to do yet. I obviously, it's a big question. I still don't know what I'm going to do yet. I do get married in June um, this coming year, and uh, my fiance lives in Atlanta, and we plan to stay in Atlanta or around the Atlanta area. So, um, you know. Something's new, something's gonna happen. I'm just gonna trust the process, trust God, and, um, and hopefully something big happens. Of course, you have big things in store, no doubt about that, Nick. Thank you for everything that you've contributed here at News 4 and for being such a great friend to so many of us. We'll see you at a Braves game this summer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go Braves. <laughs> well, Nick, again, thank you so much. And thank you for joining us tonight on News 4 at 10. That's the news for now. David and I will see you tomorrow.